Hi, welcome to my art channel. My name is Henny and today I will show you the painting process for this artwork of Ellie and Joel from HBO's adaptation of The Last of Us. I started making a rough sketch with a ballpoint pen and then a more detailed pencil sketch which I then transferred onto watercolor paper. When transferring onto watercolor paper, I make sure to only use the outline and as little details as possible, as the lead from the pencil might mix with the watercolor paint and make it muddy. As always, I started with the skin tones first, because when using watercolors in layers, you have to start from the lightest colors to the darkest. This way, I also don't have to worry about going over the edges where the hairline starts, for example as the darker colors from the hair and clothes or the background layers over it later. I absolutely adored the series and wanted to do a little fan art piece of one of my favorite scenes. For the background I used the wet and red technique to get the blurry effect in the background. Then I started to add shadows and more color to the faces. It's that part of a portrait painting where it may look really really wrong because the darker shades of the painting aren't there yet for the contrast. Sometimes I do the hair in darker colors first and then add in the shades to see the whole painting in the bigger picture. But I've learned to trust the process. I don't know if it's because I recently catalogued all my green colors and used them in a green portrait painting, but I really enjoyed painting Joel's jacket. I mix Green Appetite Genuine, which is a granulating green color from Daniel Smith's Primatech line, with a dark blue shade to get this green color. Because the mix is granulating, it gave the jacket a nice texture, especially when working in the shadows and creases. For the hair I mixed my own brown shade. First I lay one layer of a lighter brown shade and then go in with a deeper dark brown to get the texture of the hair.
painting Joel or rather Pedro Pascal's curly hair was really fun. I mixed my own dark grey shade and then just swooshed with my brush to get the curls. I used the same shade I mixed for the hair, also for the beard or facial hair, and added white gouache for the grey or white hairs on top of it. For Ellie, I wanted to make sure to give her that haunted look. I don't know if you recognize this scene. It's from episode 8, I think. But without giving any spoilers, it was an episode where I felt the two characters' connection really solidifying. At the final stage of the painting, I tried to add contrast and a little bit of detail with a darker shade, either with watercolor, a dark colored pencil, or with a dark fine liner. And that's the painting. I gotta say, I'm really proud of this one. I absolutely love doing fan art, no matter what fandom or franchise. I've done fan art watercolor paintings for Star Wars, gaming related, Disney movies and whatnot. Watching an awesome series and then being inspired to paint is one of the best feelings. And this one was fun to paint and turned out really well. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye!